Welcome to our tutorial about the Quick Calculator. The Quick Calculator can be used in two modes, standalone and transparent. I'll be showing you both of these in this tutorial. We've already used the calculator previously. You access it from the View tab, Palettes panel. Here's the icon right here. Looks like a calculator. Left click to launch it. Another way to pull up the calculator is to type QC in the command line and press Enter. Here's the calculator in standalone mode. The AutoCAD Quill calculator is used pretty much how you'd use a regular handheld calculator. The multiplication symbol is indicated with an asterisk, division with a forward slash. Press the equal symbol to see the results of our argument. Click this button to pass the value to the command line. To clear the calculator's history, press this button. Or you can right click on your input and select Clear History. The Quick Calculator also lets us work with feet and inches. It's pretty convenient. 4 feet, 3 inches, minus 1 foot 6 inches. Again, the apostrophe symbolizes foot. Double quotations are for inches. Click the equal symbol. Here are the results. 2 feet, 9 inches. What happens if I want to subtract 5 inches from 5 feet, for example? 5 apostrophe minus 5 double quotation equals. The quick calculator simply thinks I typed 5 foot 5 inches. To correct this problem, what I need to do is put the 5 feet in parentheses. Press equals and here is our result. 4 feet 7 inches. To close the quick calculator, click the X in the upper left corner. Let's activate the Home tab and the Rectangle tool. I'm going to create some shape here. Be sure the Snap Mode is on, and let's apply some dimensions. Now let's go to the Annotate tab. I want to change the font size, so let's open the Dimension Style Manager. Modify. Go to the Text tab. Let's change the text height to a .25. Click OK. Close. Back to the Home tab. Now let's say I want to create a line from the midpoint. I want it to be 3 quarters in length from this value. Let's turn Ortho Mode on. Activate the Line tool. Here's my first point. Right click. Open the Quick Calculator. Here it is open in transparent mode. The first part of my argument is the dimension of the line, 6.9625. Oops, I've got the decimal in the wrong place. Let me move that over one. Multiplied by 0.75 equals. Here's three quarters of that dimension, 5.22. Let's apply and enter. Right click, enter. Now let's dimension it. Let's create a second line from this midpoint. Let's open the quick calculator. Instead of inputting the value manually, I'm going to click here to calculate the distance between two points. First, we select the first point and the second point. Let's divide it by two equals 3.48. Let's apply and enter. Right click enter. Let's create a circle now. Now let's create a second circle with a radius of one third of the first circle. Open the quick calculator. Click distance between two points. We'll choose the first point, the center point and the second point. Let's divide it by 3. Apply. Enter. Let's activate the Line tool again. I'm going to freely pick up the first line. Right-click, Quick Calculator. Let's say I want to create a line which is the sum of two values and goes at a 20 degree angle. Let me show you how to enter that argument. We need a square bracket, the at symbol, 
open parenthesis 6.925 plus 5.2219, close parenthesis, the less than symbol, and 20. Oops, I missed a number there. There we go. Let me explain some of the symbols here that you might not be familiar with. The at symbol here indicates that we're using relative coordinates. If I miss out on this symbol, the coordinates are going to be understood by the calculator as relative to the origin point. The less than symbol indicates that the angle will be at 20 degrees. Equal, apply, right click, enter. Here is our line at a 20 degree angle. Right click, deselect all. Okay, next I'm going to create a triangle. Something like this. Right click and enter to close the triangle. Activate the line tool. Let's bring up the calculator again. Now if I try to right click, it's not going to work. Let's escape out of the line tool. Activate the line tool again and press Control 8. That's the shortcut key for the calculator. Here I'll type end plus end plus end. Close the parenthesis and divide it by 3. Press equals. AutoCAD prompts me now to select an entity for end snap. Here are the coordinates center of the triangle. Right-click and enter. This concludes our tutorial about using the Quick Calculator.